It's Miss Katie again and Little Bear. But where's Little Bear? He's hiding. Little Bear? Oh, there you are. Let's get started with our craft. We are going to make a David mask or you can use it as a puppet. You will need paper, construction paper if you have it. If not, you can use cardboard from a box. I have an old manila envelope that we're going to use. You'll also need a paper plate if you have it to trace, but you can use any size plate you'd like. Crayons, markers. If you're doing the puppet, you'll need a craft stick. Once again, if you don't have craft sticks, you can use cardboard from a box. Um, of course, you'll need glue. If you are choosing to do the mask, a piece of yarn or string will do. Okay, so I'm using the manila folder and I'm going to put my plate right on top. I'm going to, in marker, you can use a pencil first and then trace it in marker. Go around and make the circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now for our little ones, we might need a grown-up or an older brother or sister to do that tracing and cutting. Um, I'm going to add our ears. I'm just going to put an ear here and an ear on the other side. Before I cut, I'm going to make our designs on the craft. So we have um, the hair, the eyebrows, and I did outline it. So I'm going to make the circles where you're going to cut out the eyes. They don't have to be perfect. And above, I'm going to make his eyebrows. And then I'm going to give him some hair. Now we are ready. You can throw in anything for the ears there. Now we're ready to make his mouth. So you will have cut this out or a grown-up would have done that for you. Always put your cap back on your marker. Once again, here's our sample. And here's the mask already cut out. I'm going to take my glue And I'm going to, now your child should enjoy doing the glue all by themselves. I'm going to put glue on the back and then put the face right there. To make it easier, I have one, two, three, four, Five teeth, you can put as many teeth as you want. Remember, when you count, it's a different count on every page. But I'm going to just stick a little bit of glue around David's mouth. I cut out these little pieces of teeth. You can use um, typing paper, computer paper, or you can also use um, an envelope that you get in the mail. I'm going to put those around on the glue that I just put down. And David has a crazy face to begin with, so it really doesn't matter how you put them. A crazy fun face. What do I need next? The nose. I put the two black um, pieces down already for the nostrils. You can make those in marker if you'd like. I'm going to glue once again where the nose would go or you could glue on the back of the nose. And 
there we have David. As I said before, you can punch holes in to use this as a mask and then tie that around. Or you can add a craft stick to the back to make it as a puppet. I hope you have fun playing with your very own David. See you again soon.